he is noted for his Ruskini and Venetian Gothic public buildings, which include Chester Town Hall, completed 1869, and Barrow in Furness Town Hall, completed 1886. In 1846 Lynn was articled to Sir Charles Lanyon in Belfast, under Lanyon he prepared the drawings for the original building housing Queen's College, Belfast. He and Lanyon formed a partnership in 1854, in 1860, with Charles' son John Lanyon as junior partner, they incorporated as Lanyon, Lynn, and Lanyon. For their first joint projects, 1855, Lynn and the elder Lanyon produced bank buildings at Newtown Ards, County Down, and at Dungannon, County Tyrone, which are two of the earliest Irish examples of the Venetian Gothic style that was being championed by John Ruskin. In Belfast the firm produced urbane Italianate commercial structures, in Dublin, the Church of St. Andrew, 1860, and the Unitarian Church, St. Stephen S. Green was justly described as the best example extant of a modern Gothic church on a narrow street frontage, the treatment being quite original and altogether admirable. In the 1860s a second Shane S. Castle was designed with Charles Lanyon for First Lord O'Neill, burned 1922, and in 1870 Castle Leslie was designed for Sir John Leslie, First Baronet. A project that was never realized was the remodeling and expansion of Clandaboy House for the young Lord Dufferin and Clainboy, though correspondence continued over three decades, concerning the plans but also ranging over a projected new house at Grey Point, a seaside resort at Helen S. Bay, a water tank to be sited below Helen S. Tower, and projects in Canada, where Lord Dufferin was Governor General. A letter from Lynn to Lord Dufferin in March 1869 referring to alterations then underway at Colondeboy, some interior alterations of the time were designed by Lynn, perhaps in the dining room, drawing room, library and gallery. 